Have you seen a product on TV and said, I thought of that same thing, but I never did anything with the idea? Or do you have an idea in mind for a product, but you don't know how to get started? Well, our next guests say they have been there, they have done that, and now they are here to help teach us how we can become an inventor as well. Joining me is Ali Lombruni, the owner of Ali's All Natural, and Dr. Ray Wagner. He is the creator of Spiffy's Baby Tooth Wipes. And then down at the end is Rebecca Bartman. She is just a bundle of energy. Her chemistry is so fun, and I'm so glad that all of you are here. You are the owner of Coyote, um, is it Coyote? Coyote Odies. Odies, okay. Um, let's see, let's start with, um, with you. What steps did you take to create this? Okay, what I have is I've got um, five flavors mm -hmm. of pancake syrups. They are sugar-free, actually just syrups in general. Um, they're here, they're sweetened with stevia, um, like I said, sugar-free, and then I've also got three low-sugar barbecue sauce, um, one gram of sugar per serving, mm -hmm. also sweetened with stevia. But what I did, like most people, um, where I got the idea was, I, I was a fitness competitor for about 12 years. So I would have protein pancakes every morning. Oh, okay. So my body can't take the artificial sweeteners, which is in most of your sugar-free sweeteners or your syrups. Uh -huh. So I thought, you know, I'm going to wait for someone to come out and make a, a syrup sweetened with stevia, sugar-free. Waited and waited. About two years later, there was no syrup. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I do it? I have no clue. I've never been in the food business. I know That nothing. must have been a daunting task, and especially when you talk about the financing. So I'm going to ask you, how did you think about financing your, your product? Well, now that is a big challenge, and and so we actually had to dip into savings, uh -huh. and then dip in again to savings, and again, and again, <laughs> right? But we once we got our product going, and and went ahead and had it manufactured and began to distribute, we got some interest and were able to uh, then engage some investors to come in and and uh, buy a thirty percent stake in our company, which then helped us to make progress with the marketing. I almost feel like I'm on a on Shark Tank right now without it's the meat investors. It's a little investors. bit like Shark Tank. So right. let's talk about your product because you know I have a I have a little guy that's still his teeth are still coming in and I Great. actually had heard of these. Yes, so. yes, we're uh, we're available uh, in in some stores nationally. We sell a lot of product on the web at mm -hmm. Amazon.com. Uh, we're in Bye Bye Baby here in in the Phoenix market. But basically, it's a very simple uh, product. It's a wet wipe. Wrap it around your finger. And then the mom or dad just simply cleans the baby's mouth. And babies love it because it's, it has a, uh, an ingredient called xylitol, which is a natural inhibitor of cavity bacteria. Which is what we've probably seen in, in the gums. I know yes. we have. You know, you've, you mentioned something that was um, kind of sparked my curiosity, um, Ray. You, you basically said that, you know, you just kind of tried to get the buzz out and you did online sales. Yes. So for your uh, coyote odies, how did you get that buzz? Because there's so many in uh, the cookie recipes Absolutely. and cookies. I mean, you had every competitor on the planet, right. you know, even the one that has two black sides in the white middle. And that's the one thing, Steph, that you have to really um, think about before you start any business. You can't just have any regular cookie. You have to have a niche, like, right. like the other um, inventors. And I think that we do here with our 100% natural cookies. Um, we not only have, we think, the best cookies on the planet, but um, we also do all engraving crates, um, corporate packages, everything's in-house. And it's, it's, uh, a lot of it's custom. Um, so we work with not only walk-ins, we have a, historic, uh, a boutique in historic downtown Glendale, so we not only have walk-ins, but I think the key to get it out there was samples. Oh, okay. Once they tasted them, word of mouth. Okay, so I'm here, I'm seeing you guys nod in affirmation. Did you find that to be true too? I think she's very correct. Um, when you find something that's completely original that the market doesn't have, that you know, whether it's, you know, for me, one gram of sugar in the barbecue sauce, and for you, you know, your wipes, and that's what you need to do. Get your samples made, definitely. People taste your product, that's what it's all about. They're not going to know if they don't taste it. Uh -huh. You know, you can hear it and think, oh, that might be great. Do I want to spend the money? I don't know. Until so, you try it. Exactly. Gotcha. So get it out okay. there, right. and people will just, then if they like it, there you go, slam dunk, it's a sale. Was, I mean, on a scale of one to 10, I think I know the answer to this, like how difficult was this from, from the idea to the completion and to you know, actually me being able to go into a store and pick this up or online and you know, purchase these? How difficult was it? I mean, we're talking years and just tens of thousands of dollars and, and I don't you know, think of course, years, the sweat equity? No. I don't think, for me, it wasn't years. I mean, for me, it was less than a year, but you've got it, bam, bam, bam. I mean, you. You have an idea, you have to keep moving, you can't wait, and okay. that's the thing. So for me it wasn't, but less than a year, I don't know about you guys, but... How long did it take you to kind of, from the... From well, the um, it's a scary thing. You have to be a risk taker to some point. 
You okay. can't be afraid. If you are passionate about what you have, then go for it. If you're not having fun and you're not totally passionate, 100% happy with what you're doing, you won't succeed. You have to have that first. But I'd say about 25 on your little scale count there. <laughs> a 25, <laughs> 1 to 10. Okay, that's what I thought. You know, did you, when you talk about that risk, is there one piece of advice with respect to the risk that you thought, that you wish somebody would have told you at the onset before you started kind of this, this process? Well, it has taken us years, and I think one of the reasons is that our product is not, uh, we have to educate parents about our product. It's not something they actually know about. For example, syrup or cookies is, is uh, pretty well understood. But uh, it, it did take us quite some time, and, and I'd, I'd say one of the most difficult things was, was getting over the hump and, and actually getting some publicity. So, so you need to have a PR firm as well. So a PR firm helps. So helps. some people that are trying just to say do it with like Facebook and Twitter and I mean that will help but you think that the PR kind of yes. bumped it up a notch? Right. You need to educate the public and, and teach them and so you need to get articles written about you and, and Did you? Kind of I thing. agree with him but for me too when I first started out um, Facebook, Twitter, your media, social network sites are huge because everybody is on Facebook nowadays. Everybody's on you know Your friends are probably like wait a minute the fitness sir like where's how am i connecting the dots you know with the syrup because it is sugar free and uh -huh. it's zero calories sweetened with stevia which is an all natural sweetener we all want that right we want right. well we really want maple syrup but we don't want the calories we don't want the carbs so for me being able to eat those things when you're competing you can eat all these products and they are healthy versus the natural ones that aren't mm -hmm. so so social media to me was huge getting out there because that's a great way to market your product and have online sales. I have to ask you, uh, you know, a lot of times when we watch um, the, the Shark Tank that's of course seen here on Friday nights on ABC, totally addicted to it if I'm being completely honest. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, a lot of times they ask the question, did you get a patent? Is this thing patented? And so did you go that route and did you get an attorney? And I'll, and I'll kind of present the question to all of you. Absolutely, we did. You did? Yeah, we thought it was necessary. And just to uh, top what the rest of you said, um, I think getting in networking groups Two helps a lot. If you let it go staying it just for a while, you're done. You have to stay on top of things. Keep it moving. And did you have to go the, pat the patent yes, attorney patent route? Yes, we have applied for patent, uh, okay. patent pending, and that's a process also, and, and that costs additional money and that has to be budgeted for. And, and probably the biggest challenge of all, if I have any, any recommendation to a, a want to be entrepreneur, it's to get your cost of goods well understood really down to the finest detail. How much is it costing me to make this product? And then you can figure out how much you can sell it for and finally make a profit. Because if you don't make a profit, it's over. You've got a product and over. you're just spinning your wheels. It's mm -hmm. over, yeah. yeah. You've got to turn a profit. Patent? I, I agree. No, I have uh, trademarked the name and the logo. Mm -hmm. So again, with him, it, it is a, a pricey thing to do, but you need to do it to make sure no one takes what you want. So. Well, we appreciate you sharing your wisdom and kind of your school of hard knocks with us mm -hmm. because if there was only somebody like you when you were yeah. starting, then perhaps yeah. the road would have been a little bit easier. But you guys have fantastic products. We're super excited to share them with our audience. And um, gosh, I, I, I would eat and use all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely would. So we're going to have more information on SonoranLiving.com, including all of our guests' product information. And of course, let's support these local inventors because um, obviously they have a dream and, and they're living it.